Uh, we think the higher yields in the bond market are going to stay with us. Now, this is due to a policy reaction. Let me, let me go back to my policy ideas here. I skipped over them, but the, um, there are a lot of things that are going to happen policy-wise that might not have happened uh, under another scenario. But you have the House and the Senate and the presidency with the Republican Party. So you got all three. So that means they can really do stuff. Uh, so the, the gridlock with Washington, it might not be totally over, but it's largely over. It's just the agenda is different. And the agenda that uh, President-elect Trump has talked about, um, he's thrown out like a trillion dollars spending on infrastructure. Who knows what the number will actually be, but there'll probably be an infrastructure spending bill. Um, he's talked about various forms of tax reform, and there's a lot of movement in the Republican Congress for tax reform. Now, tax reform means cutting taxes and changing <coughs> taxes. Okay, so two things happen. Now, if you cut taxes and you spend a lot on infrastructure, you're going to have larger and larger deficits. So the budget deficit peaked in 2009 at 10% of GDP. That was the year after the crisis passed under uh, President Bush, they passed a trillion dollar spending bill, they spent it, and we had this huge budget deficit. And since then, it's come down to 3% of GDP. So we've had seven years of fiscal drag on this economy as we've brought that budget deficit down. Uh, that's going to reverse. Now, we don't know how fast it's going to reverse because these do take acts of Congress, and even if the Republicans have both houses of Congress, uh, that doesn't mean it's going to go quickly. Um, so I'll come back to why it might take a while. But from the point of view of the bond market, you're looking at a lot more supply. From the point of view of the economy, you're looking at some spending and some tax cuts. So if you're the Federal Reserve, you're going to be extrapolating that and say, well, we were planning on raising, inter raising interest rates anyway. Now we've got a little more inflation pressure. We've got a little more supply from the bond market. Uh, we're definitely going to do it. Now, one of the things I believe about the Fed is that they wouldn't raise rates on December 14th if they weren't planning on doing it several times in 2017. You know, they looked pretty stupid back in December 2015. Well, they didn't look stupid in December 2015. They looked stupid over the course of the year. Uh, the issue was that they, you know, they raised rates in December and told us they were going to do it four times, and here we are in November, and they haven't done anything. So we, we really believe that they don't want to repeat that embarrassment. So if they're going to raise rates, Yellen will have had some kind of consensus that they're going to do it a couple more times over the course of 2017.